I noticed that there was a company on campus who was taking down some trees that had been diseased. And I wondered what happened to the wood. And as a wood turner, then I saw an opportunity to potentially make use of wood that otherwise would have become firewood or maybe have rotted. And I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we could have MHS students turn wood from historic sites on the MHS campus to be given as gifts to MHS recipients? This is the new skill that I just learned. The other hand, is near the top of the tool. You have to like think about what you're doing, be careful with it, because if not, like you can split the wood. Tool rest, and then gently approach the wood until it starts to cut. So it's a lot more like detailed. These are students that potentially were intimidated by the bandsaw, by sometimes even just a drill. My like thoughts were like, oh, I'm gonna break the machine, or I'm gonna break the tool shifting your weight on your knees. Seeing Dr. Fouché around it, see how easy she is around it, it just, it eases my nerves and it makes me, it makes it that easier. Within a few hours, they're using them responsibly and safely and with confidence. These are two halves of a pen that you later put together as a little kitchen. So it's like super satisfying to know that I made it like by myself for the most part and it's like I get to use it as an end product. It was a way to get a set of skills back into the hands of young people <laughs> that isn't typically done anymore. They're also learning the art of wood turning. Through that, they're learning to give back to the MHS community. Mm -hmm.